Hello, this is Coach Mac, back with some more coaching math. Hope you had a good day today. I sure did. I got to walk about two and a half miles a day. Uh, came back with my power lifting, lay down for a little bit, got back up and felt sore. But I made it through, so that's a good part of it. All right. Now, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to come up here and we're going to continue with number six. Last time we were still working on some detraction problems. Put this to the side. Okay, we're going to get started. Okay, uh... My word of the day. My word for the day is forgiveness. I had a friend of mine when I was a teenager, about 13 years old, and no younger. His name was Randy, my best friend. And we, uh... Did a lot of things together, you know, shoot basketball together, play football together, walk away to different places together. Randy was a very competitive type of guy, you know. Sometimes we'd play like sand lot football and then we'd play basketball on the court. Sometimes we'd be together to, uh, as, a, as a team. And sometimes we were an opposing team. He was one of the best players, knew that we were one of the best players on the team. So we would compete against each other. Sometimes I got brutal. I'd run the ball and he hit me hard and he ran the ball and hit him hard. And every now and then, you know, we got, we got a little, little spats, whatever. And we might not, you know, we might walk away, I might walk away and two days may go by, you know, and after the third day I'd go by and get him. Or he'd come by and get me, you know, we went back out and did this thing together. And we were, I guess we were learning how to forgive each other. I'm going to talk to you about forgiving, about your friends. Uh, when you develop a friendship with someone, I'm talking about a good friend, not someone that's trying to get you in trouble. Not, some, not, not someone that's trying to get you to steal or cheat and do things of that nature, but a good friend. And that person has been a good friend for a while. Let's say that person, that person did something to you they shouldn't have did. Let's say that person uh, promised to do something and then do it. Let's say you told that person a secret that person told someone. And then when you hear about it, you say, how, how can he do that to me? And then you, then you say, you know what, that's the end of the friendship. He's a bad person. I don't want nothing to do with him no more. He's a liar. He's not a good friend. Why don't you take a deep thought about something? What if you were in that same situation? What if you were that person that made that mistake? Okay, would you want to be treated that way? Or would you want a second chance? Because you value the friendship, you know you messed up. You went back and you apologized. Would you want that person to say, I don't care, even when you apologize, I don't want anything to do with you? That would probably hurt you real bad, wouldn't it? Well, think about that with your friendships. Don't, be, don't expect your friend to be perfect. Everybody makes mistakes. Give them opportunity to apologize and give them opportunity to show you that, that, that you they value the friendship. Give them a second chance and they value the friendship. But let them know, you know what? You're my friend. You're someone I really care about. I really trust. And when you uh, didn't show up at a certain place, or uh, when I told you something you, you, that you didn't have to tell anybody you told, or whatever, it really hurt me. But I'm going to give you another chance because I value the friendship. And you'll find out that the number usually works. So don't be so quick to throw people aside because they make one mistake, okay? Because we all going to make mistakes in life. And that's my word for the day. Now, we have three more uh, subtracting problems to do. The first one is going to be 30 minus 6. 30 minus 6. Okay. I have five rows of uh, six, which is equal to 30. 30 minus six, I'm going to take one group away, and I'm going to add it and see what I can come up with. Six, 12, 18, and 19, 24. So 30 minus six, the answer is 24. Thirty-six 
36 minus 6. I'm about to put two groups out actually. That group, and put one more group out. One, two, that's okay. Let's put one more group out. Okay. So now that's 36. 36 minus 6. One, two, three, four, five, six groups. Take one out. Take six out. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Okay, so well, I'll do that again. Six, twelve, eighteen, nine, twenty-four, thirty. So thirty-six minus six, the answer is going to be thirty. Twenty-four minus six. Six, twelve, eighteen, nineteen, twenty-four. Now we take this group out. So now we have twenty-four out. We're going to take six, one group of six away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So. 24 minus 6, and it's going to be 18. Okay, we're going to get started with our multiplication, see how far we can get up with it. And we're going to start with a low, a low number. Okay. Six times one. Okay. Six times one. Six times one, one group of six, the answer is going to be very simple. Six. The rest won't be quite simple with that, maybe. Okay. Six times two, or you can say two groups of six. Two groups of six. Six times two equals one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So, 2 times 6, the answer is 12. I'm going to put one more group on here because the next one is going to be 6 times 3. 6 times 3. We group the 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So, 6 times 3, there goes your answer, 18. Six times 4, what I got to do guys? Add one more set. 6 times 4, 4 group of 6. And that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So, 6 times 4, your answer is 24. 6 times 6. Same thing as six groups of six. Now I have six groups of six out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So six groups of six equals 36. Next one going to be five groups of six. So I basically all I have to do is take one group down, take away one group, six times five, Okay, so five group of six. One, two, three, four, five. Six times five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay, so now, 6 times 5, the answer is 30. Now, guys, when we do this multiplication, right, if you're one of the person that kind of good at math, instead of counting by ones, you can just count by groups. In other words, 6, 12, 18, 19, 24, 30. Okay. 6 times 7, so I have to get 7 groups of 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. One more group of six. You gotta slide it down a little bit. Seven group of six. Now, the last one, which is six times seven, we're gonna count it by threes. Six, 12, 18, 19, 24, 30, 36, 42. So, six, or seven group of six is 42. We gonna okay. We're gonna go into the vision now. No, so we're gonna stop right here and in the next session we're gonna do uh divided by sixes. So we get ready to end right now. Uh, this Saturday coming up, this last week was my last uh, week for my little, little Eagles team. Boy, I missed my Eagles team already. But I got about four weeks to prepare for basketball season. I have a girl basketball team, 68th grade. I have a boys basketball team, 68th grade. So I, I got a lot of stuff to do. Plus I got college classes I got to get finished, things of that nature. So I got a lot of things to do in that time period. But this Saturday, I'm going to do something nice. I'm going to go out and support a little little friend of mine. He's a fifth grader named Albion. And his, uh, I forgot what his, 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 best, his football team there. But his football team, the, the fourth and fifth grade teams and the sixth to eighth grade teams, they're playing like a bowl game, Super Bowl game. So I'm going to go out there and watch him play. And uh, this be a, I'm, I'm, I'm not, instead of being a coach this time, I'm going to get, get to be a fan. So it's fun to be, a, being a coach is cool, but being a fan sometimes is good because being a coach sometimes is pressure, but being a fan, you know, all you can do is just go out there and eat a few hot dogs, you know, and just get some mustard, mustard on your lips or whatever and go back to the hot dog stand. You know, I'll probably go to the hot dog stand about three or four times, hit the hamburger stand and back to the hot dog stand. And then maybe go again back to the I don't know. Maybe I will make two trips to the hot dog stand and one trip to the hamburger stand. Then I'll leave some room for the the only juice. I don't I don't eat much candy because of my teeth I don't eat much candy. As you get older you gotta really as you get older, you have to really, really take care of your teeth. Okay, so I don't eat much candy. But I I'm gonna enjoy myself just watching the little guy play. All right, see you next time. Play well.